Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. everyone, Lucamers Prime here, so it is time for my weekly merchandise showcase vlog. So, to start then of course with what I did last week, so last Saturday I unboxed my Marvel Legends Hasbro figure of Matt Murdock as he appears in Spider-Man No Way Home. Definitely a really great figure that Hasbro made of Matt Murdock. Hopefully one day I can get a figure of the MCU's Daredevil as he appears based on a Netflix show, I'd love to get that one day. But yeah, here's Matt Murdock, did a great design in this figure of Matt. Then today in Manchester, I was able to get two movies and a video game. So I didn't really get much this week, but I was definitely glad to have got what I got. So the film that I got is a film which I think released late last year, and I saw earlier this, this year in February. And this film stars Adam Driver in a biopic about, of course, and the founder of a race car company. And this film is also directed by Michael Mann, who I, of course, love for directing other films, such as, for example, Heat and Collateral. And this film, of course, is none other than Ferrari. So I saw this film and I definitely loved it. And I, I, I definitely think that Ferrari himself is one of Adam Driver's best roles, in my opinion, too. He's a great actor. And this film was definitely, in my opinion, amazing. I'd recommend if you guys have not seen it. The other film that I got is an upgrade for a, for a, a film which is actually a war film, which is by one of my, my favourite directors of all time, who's also an actor, which is Mel Gibson. And this film also has one of my all-time favourite wars of Andrew Garfield of all time as well, too. And this film, of course, is the absolute masterpiece, Hacksaw Ridge. So yeah, this is a steelbook upgrade. I used to already have a film on Blu-ray before. I think it was like a 4K Blu-ray somewhere. Here it is and now as a steelbook. So the front cover, of course, is, is a film with poster just without the Hacksaw Ridge logo. It's on the spine, boy, as you can, you can see here, boy. so it's on the spine at least. On the back here is, of course, like the war itself, really, as you can see they're happening, like it does in the film. So... And that's what it is. Really, definitely a really, really great steel or book, in my opinion. It even comes with a story about the real life Desmond Doss, who Andrew Garfield plays in the film too, as well. So you can read all about Desmond Doss as well, which is which is re really cool. It comes with this. But yeah, I'd recommend Hacksaw Ridge if you guys have not seen it. To me, it's one of Mel Gibson's best movies of all time I've seen from him. He's, he's definitely, in my opinion, a great director as well as a great actor. And this film's definitely proof of that. I'd recommend it strongly. Then the game that I got is sort of an upgrade for a game I had on PS3 to its other version on PS3. Because the version of this game that I had was the, the game's normal version on PS3. But this version is like, shall we say, the complete edition of that game. And I put emphasis on, on the complete just then, as if it began with a K. And you'll know why, of course, because this is actually a fighting game made by the company Neverrealm. And I'll let you guys guess what it is before I show up by singing its iconic theme song, which is... Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. And if you guys guess Mortal Kombat, then you are correct because it is the complete edition of Mortal Kombat 9, or just Mortal Kombat, we want to call it. So here it is here on PS3, the complete edition. I've already played it on PS Vita, the complete version of MK9, and it is really good on the Vita, in my opinion. One of the better parts I've played, in my opinion, for a game, absolutely. But I thought I'd give it so I can play it on like a big screen, of course, and... The complete edition, in my opinion, is superior to the default version because, as you guys can see, it comes with these downloadable content characters. So, for example, there is Rain, there's Kenshi, and there's Scarlet, and there is Freddy Krueger, which is definitely really awesome. And I also wanted to get the PlayStation version of MK9 strongly. I'd say it's superior to the Xbox version of the game because it has an exclusive character, which is Kratos from God of War. He's not a downloadable content character, so you don't have to download him. He's already in the game's roster there for you to play as. And he's there on the, on the default version if you guys have that too as well. So no matter what, what version you have for PlayStation, he's on there. So I made sure to get the PlayStation version when I was considering it to give a Mortal Kombat games, which is why I'm so glad I transferred to PlayStation a couple of years ago when it comes to what consoles I play on. So yeah, that, that's Mortal Kombat 9. And definitely, in my opinion, one of the best in the franchise. Probably my second favourite behind Mortal Kombat X, which is my favourite Never Realm and Mortal Kombat game of all time. Then I got an action figure today for a Marvel superhero. And this is one of my favorite Marvel superheroes of all time, based on appears in the comics. Thankfully not based on, a, on a, a Marvel show or film, thankfully, which is a relief. For this character appeared in a show or something, I think. But I've thankfully not seen it. This character, I guess we, we could say, is probably Marvel's version of Batman. And this character, of course, is on other one, as you probably guessed by what Chloe just gave. Moon Knight. 
So here it is. This, this figure looks really cool so far. I get it. It's based on a comics too, so it looks really intriguing. Comes with accessories too, which is pretty cool. It looks like his staff can also come apart into two pieces, which is pretty awesome. So I love that feature of it. And also, of course, with, with like, you know, his crescent moons, which he can throw. Just like a batarang, really. <laughs> which is really nice. And then finally, I got a Lego set today. A, a small Lego set. Smaller than one, ones I've currently got, which I need to build. This one is actually a, a, a Marvel set, of course. And it's based on, of course, my first superhero of all time, Spider-Man. And I got this set because it comes with another of a character, which I wanted to get a Lego figure of. And it's none other than, of course, and the Lego set of the Spider-Man race car versus the Venom Green Goblin. So as you can see here, it's Spider-Man in, in a race car being chased by Green Goblin, but he's got a Venom symbiote bonded to him. And it's, I think it's also his glider too, because his glider's black, so he must have bonded to his glider too. Oh, wow. And I got this set because it comes with Spider-Gwen. And I really wanted a Lego figure of Spider-Gwen really badly, so I got it. So yeah, I just had to. So I'll pull a bow with him in the future one day. And you guys will definitely see, of course, with the looks that when it's been built, of course. So yeah. That's all I got this week, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to leave in the comments what you guys think of what I got this week. What your favourite thing? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to join the team by pressing subscribe for this to come in the future. And I'll see you all later.